Hey guys, this is Jack, and I wanted to give you access to a tool that can quite possibly um, add to your flexibility in the way that you host YouTube videos for yourself and your clients. So I want you to take a look at this video right here. Not necessarily me or the, the content, but the player, the skin around this video. Uh, and this video is actually hosted on YouTube, but what you may notice or not notice is some of the usual characteristics that you see along with YouTube videos, namely the big YouTube logo is missing from this player. And I'm not doing anything, you know, black hat or against terms of service. I'm actually using options that YouTube uh, gives us in controlling the behavior of the players, but they just don't make it really easy to do a lot of that. And they give you several options, like, uh, you know, making the videos auto start, uh, controlling the YouTube uh, logo, uh, what people see when the video is over. These are things that you do have some control over, but not a lot of local marketers and certainly local businesses don't know that this, uh, this flexibility exists. And, but because they don't make it easy, they make you go into the embed code and you have to add variables and, and do things that a lot of people don't know about and, and certainly aren't, um, uh, comfortable in, in doing. And that's why I created the YouTube embed wizard, uh, because I certainly don't like going in there messing around with the code. And so what this embed wizard does, it allows you to control those behavior options with just a few clicks of the mouse. So, uh, you'll see the embed wizard right below this video. So go ahead and start playing with it. I'm, uh, first, I'm going to walk you through a tutorial on using the Embed Wizard, but uh, once you get the hang of it, start playing with it and start using it on your own YouTube videos and those of your clients, and you'll be able to add some value while still being able to host your videos on YouTube. So go ahead, get started, play with it, let me know what you think. All right, this is the uh, YouTube Embed Wizard here, and really simple tool to use. And the first thing you want to do is get the YouTube video that you want to control the behavior on. So rather than using the typical YouTube uh, embed code, what we want to do is when you get, go to the YouTube video, you want to go down here where it says share, click share, and you don't want to use the link that's presenting to you right here. What you want to do is go over here to show options and then click on long link. And this is the link that you want to use to um, to put into the YouTube Embed Wizard. So just just uh, copy that link. And we're going to go back to the wizard, and we're going to paste it right here into the YouTube URL. The next thing you're going to see is size. Now, underneath size, you have two different categories. You have normal and you have high def. Normal is going to be your standard size videos. Uh, these are your standard resolution, and a typical size for that is 640 by 480. Here you have high def, and that's going to be your widescreen videos, your high definition videos, and a typical size of that is going to be 640 by 360. Now, there are a couple of, of um, video sizes selected already here that account for some of YouTube's sizes and, and players, but you can also go here to custom size and put make it any size that you want. Now, since the video that we chose is a widescreen video, we're going to go down here to high def, and I'm going to choose... Uh, 560 by 340 as the the uh, size. But like I said, you can go down here to custom size and make it any size that you want. The next section is the options. These are the different options that we have to control, uh, the behaviors that we can control uh, with YouTube's, the variables that they provide. Now, a lot of times you have to go into the actual embed code on YouTube and set these manually. And that can get a, a, a little bit hairy sometimes if you make a mistake. But here you can just, you know, a couple of clicks of the mouse and you can uh, have it behave however you, uh, however you want. So let's go through these options real quick. The first one is include related videos. What that does is at the end of your video, it will show a lot of videos that YouTube feels are related to the same topic as the video that was just watched. Now, the problem is those aren't necessarily are going to be your videos. So we don't want to send your viewer off to watching other videos. What we'd rather do is take action um, with a call to action that maybe you have on your landing page or at the end of your videos. So I don't select include related videos. The next one is going to be autoplay. And this, 
what this is going to do is when your visitor lands on the page that your video is embedded on, the video is going to automatically start playing. Now, this can can be a, a benefit a lot of times if you you know want the video if as long as the the viewer is expecting that video to play. Uh, you, but you really need to think about who your viewer is. If this is somebody that might be uh, at their job and and they're not expecting a video to start playing well then what's going to happen is that video that web page is going to be shut down immediately if uh, you know their volume is up or they're seeing something that's unexpected so be careful about when you uh, decide to select autoplay or not autoplay also if you're embedding this into a facebook fan page uh, facebook terms of service they don't want you to have anything that auto plays uh, on on their fan pages that's hosted on facebook now the next one you can do is disable controls and what that'll do is it will it will hide the controls and not give access to the viewer to, to control volume or rewind or anything like that. They will be able to click on the video and pause it but that is all. Um, I don't really care for that option and a lot of people get frustrated with it. I know it's a you know big in, in doing sales videos but you do have the option if you want to disable the controls. The next one you see is hide video annotations. What that is, is sometimes people put, uh, annotate the video with, with text, you know, letting people know, you know, some text uh, captions uh, type text on the video. Well, if it's an annotation, you can actually hide the annotations if you don't want people to see those while they're watching the video. So you can select that to hide the annotations. The next one you have is enable video title. That's a title that shows up on the top left hand screen of the video. In fact, on the video that you're watching right now, if you'll just take your mouse and hover over the video, you should see the title of this video up on the top uh, on the top left uh, 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 part of the, the video screen. And if you want to uh, enable that video title, you can do that. You can also not enable it and it won't show. But here's where the trade-off is. Even though YouTube does give you some flexibility, they want their brand somewhere in this video at some point. So you either have to have the video title enabled or you have to have the logo enabled. Um, I typically choose to disable the logo because that's what shows up prominently uh, at all times down in the bottom right hand corner of the video. So if you disable the logo, you must have the video title enabled. And finally, you have HTTPS. And what that does is it allows you to use YouTube's um, uh, uh, secure SSL uh, link, which you will, may want to use that if you're embedding this into a Facebook fan page. Uh, that way you can, uh, you know, you comply with Facebook's requirements that uh, hosted content be hosted on uh, SSL. And you can just use YouTube's and just by enabling the HTTPS. Once you have your video set the way you like, all you have to do is just hit generate code. And that delivers the iframe uh, code and all you have to do is copy that and embed it right into your WordPress or your HTML document and that will uh, give you the video with the behavior options that you selected so we can go ahead and preview that right here and you'll see um, there's no YouTube logo down here but what you do see, if we hover over it, you'll see a, uh, uh, the title right here. You saw that the video auto started. The auto, it is automatically started playing when we uh, went to the page. And also at the end of the video, if we get there to the end, you will uh, see that it, oops, let's keep going you'll see that it doesn't take you, it doesn't give you all the selections uh, of related videos to go after. It just gives you a replay option. It gives you a, um, the, uh, the link to the video, or it gives you an iframe in order to embed this video. However, it doesn't give you the options to embed it with all the, uh, the behavior changes that we created with the embed wizard. So go ahead, um, start playing with it and uh, embed it into your WordPress or your HTML and start adding value to your videos and to your customers. And go ahead and uh, put a comment if you have uh, anything good, bad, or questions below. I'll talk to you later.